Hey guys, YouTubers you love are probably feeding you information that confirms your existing biases, or worse, straight up misleading you. I'm going to show you exactly how they use misleading statistics, cherry-picked evidence, and emotional manipulation to get you to believe anything they say. Welcome to the strange world of fake logic. It's a place where smooth talk often dresses up as good sense. We're talking about things called logical fallacies. These are sneaky ways to persuade people that sound like they make sense, but they don't really. It's like a magician's trick, distracting you while the real stuff is happening somewhere else. Now, don't get us wrong, not all YouTubers do this, but you see it enough that it's worth taking a closer look. For example, there's something called the syllogistic fallacy. This is a three-part argument that sounds smart, but it's actually not. It's like saying, all winners wake up early, I wake up early so I must be a winner. Sounds good, right? But hold on, is waking up early the only sign of being a winner? No way, it's a trick of fake logic. Then there's the appeal to authority. YouTubers might use famous people or experts to back up what they're saying, but just because someone has a fancy title doesn't mean they're always right. It's important to check the facts and the situation. You might also hear circular reasoning, where YouTubers just repeat their conclusion as if it's a fact. It's like saying, I'm right because I say I'm right. It's an empty argument with no real proof. YouTubers may also paint a false picture, giving only two extreme options and ignoring everything in between. They might only use facts that agree with them, use emotional words dressed up as logic, share personal stories as proof, throw in distractions to steer you away from the main point, use words to twist feelings or play to the majority. These are just a few of the sneaky tricks you can find on YouTube and other places. They're dishonest, misleading, and can make something seem smart when it's really not. So the time you watch a YouTube video and something doesn't feel quite right, remember this, not everything that shines is gold and not everything that sounds smart is. Now that we've explained all this, let's check out some of the most common tricks that YouTubers use. First up on our list is syllogistic fallacies. A syllogistic fallacy is a type of logical fallacy that occurs when the conclusion of a syllogism, a kind of logical argument, is not supported by its premises. Let's take an example. A YouTuber might say, all successful people wake up early, I wake up early, therefore I am successful. This argument might sound compelling, but it's fundamentally flawed. It assumes that waking up early is the only factor that determines success, which is simply not true. Success depends on a multitude of factors, not just one's wake-up time. So, while the argument seems logical on the surface, it's actually a syllogistic fallacy. It's important to remember that just because an argument follows a logical structure, it's not necessarily valid. The premises must truly support the conclusion. Just because it sounds logical doesn't mean it is. Ever heard a YouTuber reference a famous expert to prove their point? That's an appeal to authority. And while this might sound convincing, it doesn't automatically make an argument valid. Let's delve deeper into this concept. An appeal to authority involves referencing an expert or a figure of authority to support a claim. For instance, a YouTuber may say, according to the world-renowned physicist, time travel is possible. But remember, just because an expert says something doesn't mean it's an infallible truth. It's crucial to consider the expert's field of study, the context of their statement, and whether their opinion is generally accepted within their field. Now, let's switch gears and discuss circular reasoning. This is when the conclusion of an argument is used as one of its premises. It's like saying, I'm right because I know I'm right. It's a fallacy because the argument is assuming the very point it's trying to prove. It lacks substance and doesn't provide any real evidence to support its claim. So, how can you spot these fallacies when you're watching a video? Look out for YouTubers who consistently refer to experts without critically examining their statements. Beware of arguments that seem to go in circles, offering no new information or evidence. Remember, an expert's opinion is not a substitute for facts, and a strong belief in an argument doesn't make it logically valid. It's essential to question what you hear, evaluate the evidence, and think critically. In the next section, we'll explore more logical fallacies, such as the false dichotomy and cherry-picking evidence. But for now, remember this, an argument's validity isn't in who backs it or how strongly one believes in it. 
stay curious and keep questioning. Are you either with us or against us? This is an example of false dichotomy. Let's dive into the fallacies of false dichotomy and cherry picking evidence. First, false dichotomy. This is when someone presents an issue as having only two extreme options, ignoring the shades of gray in between. It's like saying, you're either a cat person or a dog person. When in reality, some people might like both, neither or prefer another kind of pet altogether. This kind of oversimplification can be misleading and can lead to skewed conclusions. Now let's talk about cherry picking evidence. This is when someone selectively chooses evidence that supports their viewpoint while conveniently ignoring contradictory information. It's like saying, apples are the healthiest fruit because they contain vitamin C, while ignoring the fact that oranges, strawberries, and kiwis also contain vitamin C, and in larger amounts. This selective presentation of facts can make an argument seem logical on the surface, but it's fundamentally flawed because it's incomplete. These tactics of false dichotomy and cherry-picking evidence are often used to manipulate audiences into accepting oversimplified and biased conclusions. They conveniently package complex issues into neat digestible bites that don't challenge the audience's critical thinking. But life is rarely so simple. Real-world issues are complex, multifaceted, and seldom fit neatly into either-or categories. And when it comes to evidence, it's crucial to consider the full range of data, not just the bits and pieces that fit into a certain narrative. We must always strive to see the bigger picture, to understand the nuances, and to question the evidence presented to us. It's our responsibility as critical thinkers to not fall for these fallacies and to challenge oversimplified and biased viewpoints. Remember, debates are not about winning or losing, but about seeking the truth. And the truth is rarely found at the extremes, but often lies somewhere in the middle. Life is rarely black and white and evidence should never be one-sided. Have you ever felt swayed by a YouTuber's emotional speech or powerful words? That's emotional appeals and loaded language at play. Let's start with emotional appeals. This is when a YouTuber uses emotionally charged language to manipulate your feelings and make you agree with their point of view. They might say something like, it's common sense that, or anyone with a brain would agree that. These phrases are designed to make you feel a certain way, but remember, they're not based on logical reasoning. Next, we have loaded language. This is when a YouTuber uses emotionally charged words or phrases to sway your opinion. They might say, freedom-loving individuals oppose this policy, or only a fool would disagree. These statements are designed to stir strong emotions in you but they don't provide any logical evidence to support their claims. Finally, we come to the bandwagon fallacy. This is when a YouTuber appeals to popularity, suggesting that because many people believe something, it must be true. They might say, everyone knows that, or the majority agrees that. However, popularity doesn't equate to logical validity. Just because a lot of people believe something doesn't make it true. These tactics are all about manipulation. They play on your emotions, your values, and your desire to fit in with the crowd. They can make a YouTuber's argument seem very convincing, but when you look closely, you'll see that they're not based on sound logic. So the next time you're watching a video and you find yourself getting swept up in the emotion of it all, take a step back. Ask yourself, is this YouTuber using emotional appeals, loaded language, or the bandwagon fallacy to sway my opinion? Remember, it's okay to feel emotions, but don't let them cloud your judgment. Emotions and popular opinions are not substitutes for logical reasoning. As we wrap up, remember that not all that glitters is gold. Similarly, not all that seems logical is logical. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of fake logic, uncovering syllogistic fallacies where conclusions are drawn from flawed premises. We've seen how appeals to authority and circular reasoning can mislead and how false dichotomies and cherry-picking evidence can oversimplify complex realities. We've also uncovered the emotional appeals, loaded language, and bandwagon fallacies that sway our emotions, masquerading as logical arguments. Remember, personal anecdotes and red herrings might be compelling, but they don't always represent the broader truth. In this world of information overload, it's crucial to question, to probe, and to think critically. Don't be swayed by the fancy words or the emotional undertones. Seek evidence, 
question the logic, and always be on the lookout for these fallacies. The next time you watch a YouTube video, keep these points in mind. Stay curious and stay logical.